Hey everybody, it's Joe from PocketNow.com. Cool thing happened just the other day and that was Google I.O. 2010. Now that's the Google Developers Conference and in day two they showed us Android 2.2 codenamed Froyo running on the Nexus One. Now that's really neat. Today we found out that a lot of people are getting Froyo pushed over the air to their Nexus Ones, but a lot of people aren't. It looks like the press release versions of the phone are getting it, but everybody else is going to have to wait, unless you're watching this video and I'm going to show you how. So what I've got is a Nexus One running Cyanogen mod. It's unlocked, it's rooted, and running a custom recovery ROM and a custom ROM. So I've got a lot of work to do to be able to get this update, but if you come with me, I'll show you how to do that. Let's go. Okay, for us to be able to install this update, we have to go back from Cyanogen Mod to the stock ROM. So, anytime we do that, first thing we want to do is make a backup. I've already done that. I've booted up into recovery mode, and I'm running the Amon Ra recovery, uh, Raw Nexus 1.7.0, really awesome uh, recovery ROM, by the way. So, I've gone ahead and done that backup. Next thing that I need to do is wipe everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to wipe there, and I'm going to keep stepping through all of these options to wipe absolutely everything except for the uh, SD card EXT extension. So that's going to take me a minute or so here. and we're good to go. Now I'm going to go back to the main menu and now we are going to flash a zip file from the SD card. This one is ERD79 which is the stock ROM. We'll go ahead and flash that now and this is going to take a couple minutes so I'm going to let that run and I'll be right back. I'm not done yet. For this to work, not only do I have to have the stock ROM on the phone, but I also have to have the stock recovery ROM on the phone. Now, it's important to note, this is not going to relock your phone. You're still going to have the Nexus unlock symbol every time you boot. Uh, I still don't know how to go about relocking your phone. Uh, so like I said in previous videos, once you've unlocked it, you've unlocked it. You can't go back. But what we do need to do is put the stock recovery ROM on. So to do that, we're going to reboot the system and we're going to boot it back up into our fast boot mode. Go ahead and reboot the system now. Hold down the volume down button. And there's our H boot menu. Now you can see here we've got options for fast boot, recovery, clear storage, and sim lock. We want to go into fast boot, so we'll select that and press the power key to choose it. And now we're in fast boot mode. So from here, I'm going to plug in my phone, and then we're going to go over to the desktop computer, or the laptop in this case, and I'm going to show you what I've got and what we're going to do from there to get the recovery image back on. I've gone ahead and downloaded and installed the Android SDK for Windows. Where to get that is going to be in the article that accompanies this video on pocketnow.com. In fact, all of the files that I'm going to reference here are going to be hyperlinked in that article. So if you wonder where to get it, go to pocketnow.com, look up this article, and you can find it all there. That said, what I've done is inside this tools folder, there's a whole bunch of tools that come with the SDK. I've added some things to this. Most importantly is Fastboot. Again, check the article for the link for that. And after that is the recovery image, which is right here. It's only uh, 2.3 megabytes, so not very big, but that's the stock recovery image, and we have to put that back on the phone to be able to flash the updated uh, Froyo version. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over here to a command prompt in administrator mode and I'm going to run, you'll notice that I'm in that same folder, in the tools folder, I'm going to run fastboot space devices 
Make sure I spelled that right. We're going to press enter. Now the reason we do that is to make sure that the device is not only connected, which you can see there it is, but also that it's recognized. And right there you can see, yes, we have a device showing up. If the device wasn't connected, it would either return nothing or throw an error. So we should be good to go. Now, this next part gets a little bit tricky. I need to check my notes to get the syntax exactly correct. Okay, here is that syntax. Again, we're running flash boot, and this time we're passing it the flash parameter, and we want to flash into the recovery partition, the recovery.img. So this recovery.img needs to be in that tools folder right along with flash boot, which I just showed you. So we'll go ahead and do that now. It's sending it, writing it, and done. Took all of 1.27 seconds. So, awesome. What we need to do now is reboot our phone. Okay, I've booted the system up for the first time, and I'm getting the Welcome to Nexus 1 Touch Android to Begin prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'm going to skip through absolutely everything. And at this point, I'm looking at the stock wallpaper, the, the stock icon layout, everything. So I know that so far, so good. Let's go in here and see if there's an update available for the phone. Menu, settings, I'm going to go to, down to about phone, and we are on firmware version 2.1, build number ERD79. So, so far so good. We're going to check for system updates, and it has not noted that there are any updates yet. So we're going to check a couple of things and be right back. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is force an over-the-air check-in. So to do this on your dialer, you dial star pound, star pound, 243, 2546, pound star, pound star. And when you do that, the screen should go blank and you should get a update that says check-in results success. You cannot do this over Wi-Fi or it will fail. You have to do it over your carrier. So you do have to have your SIM card installed, an active plan, blah blah blah, all that. But once you do that, hopefully when we come back here to settings and go to about phone and check for system updates, you'll see that we are now getting an update. In this case we're getting Android update 2.1 update 1. Now, we could have gone ahead and flashed that version to begin with, or flashed the version that we did and then flashed this update. But the reason I want to do this is I want to make sure that that recovery ROM is doing its job. If this update fails, we know we've got something else to do and we cannot flash that Froyo update. So, we're going to go ahead and do this now. It's going to take a little bit of time to finish downloading. It's 15.2 megabytes. So, we'll do that and be right back. Okay, after that system update has been downloaded, it'll ask you if you want to install now, later, or get more information. We want to install now, so we'll go ahead and do that. It's now going to boot up into recovery mode, and this is where we get to see if that work that we did flashing the stock recovery ROM did what it was supposed to do. Now, if you try this with the Amon Ra ROM, it will fail, so you have to go through those steps. Okay, now if we take a look here, this is in the phone about information again. We can see that the firmware version has now been updated to 2.1 update 1. The build number is ERE27, so we know that over the air update just worked successfully. We're going to come in here to system updates. It still says there are none. We could check to see if there is another update and force it that way, but we know that there are not. Uh, at least not at this point. So what we're going to do is reboot the phone again into recovery mode. To do that we wait for it to power off and then we boot up and hold the down volume while it's booting. So here we are in H boot. We wait for it to do its initial load it's doing. Then we go down to recovery, select that with the power, and it reboots into recovery mode. Now we've already got the froyo update.zip file on the root of the SD card. Uh, if you don't, you should have. Uh, we're going to go back in to flash the recovery in here. And 
that should be power, there we go, and volume up. And we are going to scroll down to apply SD card update dot zip. And it's finding, opening, and verifying. And this should take another couple minutes. Okay, and we're up with the initial wallpaper. Let's go in and check the build. So we'll unlock. Now the first thing that you'll notice, this is indeed Froyo. We now have down in the launcher area, and I'm sorry I did the pinky point again for uh, that individual who commented that I pinky point a lot. Uh, you've got a phone icon, your launcher icon, and then your globe icon, which is the browser. Uh, you also now have your Google search in color with some other options in the drop-down menu. You can search everything, the web, apps, contacts, etc, etc, but let's go back home. The launcher is now even faster than it was before. It seems to scroll through more than just one line at a time now when you do it. So that's really cool. Uh, but like I was saying, let's go into About. So we'll go into Settings, all the way to the bottom, About Phone, and right there, Android version 2.2. This is build number FRF50, and we are running kernel version 2.6.0. 32.9 yada 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 so there you go guys how to take a uh, hacked or a customized version of your Nexus One restore it back to stock and flash Froyo or Android 2.2 on it so sorry about the length but this has been a pretty in-depth video for pocketnow.com I am Joe Levi and enjoy your frozen yogurt